child support and you've been a judge right is child support even about the child anymore uh, my ex-wife first one I've been divorced 30 some years okay um, what happened was the child support I was paying which was five times what I was ordered she took the child support and instead of using it for child support she set up a retirement fund for herself unbeknownst to anybody so she's making at least three times as much from retirement income as she was getting from a paycheck. She was lazy. She liked to smoke that reefer. And at 64 years old, she's making about 35000 a year, which is an embarrassment because that wasn't any more than she was making when I met her back in the early 1980s. So the children got deprived, but the child support was not used for the kids, it was used for her. Now some states have put a limit on the absolute amount of child support. They said that a wealthy child is no more valuable than a middle class child than a poor child. So there is a maximum that can be put to functional use for child support. So some states now have a cutoff point that you just don't get any more than that for child support for the specified purpose of preventing the child support for being used as unofficial spousal support or alimony. Now, usually what happens is the guy who goes through a divorce winds up with more control over his circumstances than somebody who has the kid out of wedlock. Explain. Okay. When you have the kid out of wedlock, basically all they're doing is trying to keep the state from having to pay out. A lot of juvenile court systems have become privatized and they become sources of income for the municipality or the county or for the investors in the enterprise thing. So they have an interest in maintaining future business. So if they F up the family situation, they produce future business. If they correct bad family situations, they lose future business. So since they're money-making propositions, they don't help things out. If you're going through a divorce, you don't usually get stuck through somebody's juvenile or domestic system. You deal with a circuit, a superior, or a chance record type situation that has rules that it applies. So there is an incentive to screw somebody over for political and social reasons. In other words, a lot of elected officials are they can't, they can't keep their dick in their pants. So they got a lot of outside kids. And they get blackmailed because the kids are not the product of a marital unit. It's some side action. So they get extorted. Okay. A lot of people are dangerous when they get independent. Just ordinary people. So what winds up happening is if I keep this guy down, we don't have to worry about him politically. Uh, he's not going to be a good voter. He's going to be angry. He'll keep himself in a situation where it will be very easy to put him in a warehouse, meaning a penitentiary. I ran that down earlier. And it's a means of control. Uh, I've stumbled on instances where if you've got a chance to look at the records, you'll find that a state senator has 20, 25 outside children through a juvenile court having something to do with him, a congressman having 10, 12, 14, 15 outside children. So what kind of independence is he giving you when he is subject to getting badly embarrassed by getting snatched through a juvenile court. You see, you have mayors 
who have outside children who are blackmailed into being compliant and complacent and doing what they're told to do so the embarrassment doesn't come to light. You have all of these things going on. You have another thing where it is just, and it's not so bad now that you have DNA tests, but you have a tradition that developed before these viable DNA tests where uh, I don't care whether he looks like you now, you feed him long enough, he'll look just like you. And it's a way of keeping certain communities in check, poor white communities, poor black communities, brown ones, red ones, whatever it may be. It's a means of social control, political control. So child support is used for that purpose. Also, what usually winds up happening is when these corrupt systems get the child support, they don't immediately tender it to the woman. They keep it for months to earn interest on it. The interest just disappears for other purposes. And then the woman gets the child support. A lot of times the child support is designed to keep a family down. In other words, the guy can afford to pay it, they make the woman suffer. If the guy can't afford to pay it, then they are going to uh, break him so he does not get able to pay it. Used to be you could grow out of it. In other words, it might be ruinous to pay child support, whatever, when you're 29, 32, 34 years old, but as you get older, your income increases so it might not be any big thing by the time you get in your mid 40s. But now they have methods for automatically ramping it up so somebody stays behind the eight ball. That's the part I don't understand. Like, if you're taking so much of this man's income that he can't survive. That's the purpose. But <laughs> like, how is that beneficial to you being a father? It's not. If you're not a good father, you generate juvenile delinquence or juvenile delinquency. These privatized juvenile systems then make money on incarcerating the juveniles. You have to start looking at what they're getting. No, I, I understand that part, right? But that's what they want to do. See, they want to maintain a condition of helplessness within certain impacted communities. They don't want them to be viable in terms of actually exercising power and uh, another question i have too man is just like uh why are women allowed to just like have free reign because it all it's almost like mental abuse in a sense how they deal with the child compared oh, yeah. to, to a husband so like why aren't there any laws that clearly states that uh you using the child or uh a next thing is denying men access to the child well, see that's the other thing too Every state has the same rule on that, and there is an interstate compact on uniform child support. A woman can't cut off visitation for non-payment of child support. They think they can, but the law in just about every state forbids that because the interest of the child is supposed to be paramount and the input from the father is important. A lot of places turn a blind eye to that and a lot of women don't know that and they do it and the guy doesn't want to be bothered with going to court anyway because it's not healthy to be down there. So no, that's not appropriate, but they get away with it and then there's this thing again, I talked about prosecutorial discretion. The prosecutors in an area, in a district, could get involved, but they generally don't because they count on women going out to vote. Mm 